Hey guys, it's Katie McBroom from bestproducts.com and I am so excited because today we're gonna to be talking about one of my absolute favorite beauty products, which is dry shampoo. Have you guys ever wanted to absorb oil or give yourself some volume and texture? You can do that with this product and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's see how it's done. There's really no one right way to correctly apply dry shampoo. You could probably flip your hair over and spray it all over and it would still look good and do its job. But we're gonna show you exactly how we think it should be applied to get the most effective application. I'm gonna use the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. We're gonna do three simple steps. Step one is going to be section, step two is going to be spray, and step three is going to be shake. Now, this is the easiest way that we've found to get the most effective application. Sectioning will actually give you a very good overall application instead of just spraying all over your head and hoping that it's going in the right areas. You could use a tail comb, kind of like this one, to section it out if you want to, but you don't have to. If you're in a hurry in the morning, you'll probably use your fingers, so that's how I'm gonna show you. We're gonna take a section. I'm starting right next to my center part, and then you're gonna just spray along that area and then we're gonna do another section about uh, one inch away and just continue that pattern, making one inch section and spraying about two to three inches away from your hair. We can drop all of that down and you're gonna actually go in with your fingers and just shake it out a little bit to make sure that all of that product has gotten onto your scalp. It's already starting to absorb the oil in my hair. I like more of a tousled look, so I'm kind of like really going for it with the shake portion of our method. I think that this side obviously looks a lot better than this like sad flat side we have going on here. So you can kind of like see the difference where like this is a little bit more voluminous and this is a little bit more flat and sad. So in order to fix that, we're gonna do the other side as well. And these sections don't have to be perfect. You can kind of like lift and part as you please. You can also like flip it over to the other side of your head if you want to, like this, to give it a little more volume. I'm gonna just shake it out. And this is absorbing the oil. It's giving some volume and texture to your hair. And look at that. We have more going on, and I only did the two sides. You can also do the back. You obviously don't have to kind of like go down and section towards the back of your hair. I think the best thing to do is to take like some of the crown area, spray that in the back, and then create that same shaking motion back there to make sure that the product is evenly applied. And now my hair is thoroughly dry shampooed. So that was the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. So as you can tell, my hair is thoroughly cleansed. And now we're gonna take it a step further with the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. This is what I use if I really want some like insane volume and texture. You can layer this one on top of another dry shampoo to really give it some oomph. So I will show you guys how that looks. So we're gonna follow like the same method. This can be even messier <laughs> than the last one. And you just kind of like spray it along your roots, shaking it out. And then we can also apply this one on the ends to give it that kind of like tousled bedhead kind of a look. You can already see the difference a little bit there. And we're gonna do the other side. And then follow that same shake method. And now it's a little bit crazier. If you are like me and you like crazy, you can like do some on the ends. And then we're gonna kind of like scrunch it a little bit. And now we have big insane hair that you can then use a curling iron. I love to use a beach waver. If we want to put some curl in there, then it'll hold it more. And you can also use this as a base for an updo. So if you want to do something like cute like this, you've got more to work with. So it's a really good base for styling. Here at Best Products, we obviously care very deeply about product testing. So we recently did an in-depth test with about 23 different dry shampoos and 10 of our editors testing them. I will make sure to link to that article in the description below so you guys can check out our top 10 favorites. 
And the one that is the best of the best is this Living Proof Perfect Hair Dye Dry Shampoo. That's the one you saw me demonstrating with, and it is literally the best dry shampoo in the world. You can quote me on that. We even tried to like other ones better because it has such good reviews. I was like, nah, this is overhyped. We really want to like find the truth and see what the best of the best is. And it's undeniable that this is it. So this is our best overall. It cleans the hair in addition to making it smell wonderful. So instead of just kind of like applying powders and perfumes to kind of disguise your hair, it has patented technology to clean it and make your hair actually clean. It's amazing. You'll love it, I promise. Our next dry shampoo that we love is this Batiste dry shampoo. This is our best budget buy. It's under 10 bucks. It's amazing. It also works very well and it's available in several different scents, which is kind of nice. I think scent's a big thing with this type of product because you can smell it in your hair all day. So that's a definite plus from this one. And this is our best splurge. You can obviously use it to really like oomph up your hair. It's a little bit of a splurge. It's about 48 bucks, but it is amazing and it is worth sitting on your vanity, I promise. I hope you enjoyed our how to apply dry shampoo video. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more beauty videos from bestproducts.com. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to let us know in the comments if you have any special tips or tricks for applying. And we also wanna know what your favorite dry shampoos are.